you know, as I think about the residential community that you're trying to create, you've got your hands full. They're coming in and they basically are, I don't want to call them anti-authority, but they're pushing back against everything, probably because they don't trust or because they have been violated. Yeah. Um, they've experienced trauma. They've got complex trauma. And so these kids are, broken's not the right word for them. I mean, they feel a sense of hopelessness because they're trying as best they can. I haven't met a kid yet that has said, I'd really love to be messed up. I've never met a kid that has said, you know, I, at age 30, I hope I hate my parents. I've never heard those things. Kids are wanting to know what to do and how to take the very scripture, I think, that they've been taught throughout their life and apply it to their life so they can be effective and get to a better place in life. And they don't know how to do it. And so what happens is when they start making poor choices and start getting into trouble or have trauma happen in their life and, and they start to deal with some of the difficulties and hardships, that they're lost. They become, they're not rebellious. They're just lost. And parents sometimes get lost in the midst of it too, not knowing what to do. And our point is we've got to get to the heart of the issue. The behavior that anybody sees is just the visible expression of the invisible issues that are going on in the life of a child. Mark, you have a verse around hope that you press into that really represents what you do. Yeah, I do. It's Ephesians 1.18. It says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be filled with light so you may know the hope to which he has called you. And it speaks to all of it. It speaks to this is about your heart. It's about the light of a relationship with Christ. Those two things, even if you can't see it, has an amazing way of bringing hope to the situation. We're going to get on the other side of this. This chapter is going to be closed one day. Your child's going to grow through this. Take advantage.